Hello everyone, um, this video is about chapter 3 of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Um, I really hope you enjoyed uh, reading chapter 2 by yourselves. Um, we use the word surreal um, to describe things that are irrational and bizarre, uh, things that seem like they could be in a dream. Uh, and I'm sure you'll all agree that uh, Alice crying in a pool of tears and then shrinking so much that she can swim in her own tears uh, was surreal. Now, what I'd like you to do first off with chapter three is to pause this video actually and to read chapter three by yourself and then I'll talk you through the tasks afterwards. So go ahead and do that now, please. Okay, so now in this chapter, Carol, the author, uses several puns. A pun is a type of wit or humour, a joke, where a joke is made from the same word or sound or similar word or sound having two meanings. Uh, a lot of the jokes that you see in Christmas crackers and say on the back of penguin chocolate bars, um, they're made in the same way. So um, for example, um, sorry about this, um, what do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. The joke there is that we've made a joke from the um, fact that parts of the word investigator sound like other words, uh, in, vest, and gator, alligator. Um, this is also sometimes called a play on words, okay? We'll call it a pun, okay? I'm gonna read a short extract now. Ahem, said the mouse with an important air. Are you all ready? This is the driest thing I know. Silence all round, if you please. William the Conqueror, whose cause was favoured by the Pope, was soon submitted to by the English, who wanted leaders, and had been of late much accustomed to usurpation and conquest. Edwin and Morcar, the Earls of Mercia and Northumbria. Ah, said the lorry, with a shiver. I beg your pardon, said the mouse, frowning, but very politely. Did you speak? Okay, so what's happening here is that the mouse is trying to get everyone dry, as in not wet anymore, by telling them a story that is dry, as in boring. If you go to the dictionary and look up uh, the word dry, you should find those two meanings there. Dry, as in factual and not interesting, and dry, as in the opposite of wet. Um, your task, your first task, is to explain how Carol has used these two meanings to make a pun, to make a little joke with the reader. Okay, I'm going to read you another extract then. Uh, so, mine is a long and sad tale, said the mouse, turning to Alice and sighing. It is a long tale, certainly, said Alice, looking down with wonder at the mouse's tail. But why do you call it sad? And she kept on puzzling about it while the mouse was speaking, so that her idea of the tale was something like this. I'll stop there. Okay, so your task there is to explain the pun on the word tail. Um, two different words, tail uh, as in a tail that an animal has and tail as in a story. How has Carol used that to make a little joke? Um, and I've got one more of these for you, a little bit further on. So, um, you are not attending, uh, said the mouse. Um, said the mouse to Alice severely. What are you thinking of? I beg your pardon, said Alice very humbly. You got to the fifth bend, I think. I had not, cried the mouse angrily. A knot, said Alice, always ready to make herself useful and looking anxiously about her. Oh, do let me help to undo it. Okay, so how has um, Carol used a pun on the word not there is your third task. Okay, one final task, particularly for those of you who are aiming at level six or above. Um, can you please look at the last page or so of the chapter and use quotes to explain how the author compounds, which is just a way of saying it increases, the sense that Alice is innocent. We've talked about Alice being innocent before. How does the author compound that sense, increase that sense on the last page? Okay, I'm going to write out these tasks now and I'm going to um, put them into the comments. Stay safe, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds at a time. Thanks.